All right, how everyone? This is Karel, and my Japanese name is called Kira. And uh, you can call it either way you want. And this is the MetaHumans and Life Link tutorial. Well, this is basically for for beginners, so it might be pretty simple. Um, it will mention some basic controls on the view too, just in case some beginners don't know how to do it. Uh, and then we'll talk about how to simply just with a couple buttons, uh, you can use LifeLink uh, with your iPad or your iPhone. I think for iPhone, it has to be about iPhone X, and then you're able to control your MetaHuman with your facial expressions. All right, so let's get started. So this is the website that I shared in my previous videos. Uh, there are three links that I shared. Uh, the MetaHumans project talk about there be a creator coming out and it's really exciting for everyone, and and it's awesome because not everyone have the budget or maybe have a studio to build their own virtual human. I mean digital human. So other user can simply build their own uh, through those through this MetaHumans creator. So. Is is really big and exciting news, and the second link I share is talk about the metahumans, uh, the details about anything that I'm really want to tell us, like how do things set set up and the LD. Uh, there's eight details for this guy and the hair using groom and the mesh and how do you change the uh, facial expression and they uh, encourage you to retarget the animation, try with it test of it and use the motion capture and also it also mentioned that it support the live link skeleton animation uh, in your component list and there's also the control rack and how things work yep and they talk about this in their documentations and if you'd like to know more about the live link plugin uh, there'll be the first link that I shared uh, and I will also share in this video so that you'll be able to visit it and you understand uh, what actually you need when you set up your own in the future all right so let's get started so how should we start so we go to the uh, first we want to go to the epic game uh, applications and then you want to go to learn and then after you go to learn uh, you're able to see the meta humans samples over here and you just click on it and after you click on it you want to click on the create project and after you press create project uh, you have a screen to ask you to choose the project and location uh, and you could just do the creation your own and choose any way you want and after you choose it you name it and then you just go to the library and then choose your project and then what you should see is you should be able to see this screen over here all right so you after you go to this screen, which is the Unreal Engine, in case it is really, 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 really heavy for computers, for some of the comments I got from previous video, you actually go to settings, <coughs> go to the engine scalable, scalability settings, and you can choose low, medium, or high, epic, cinematics, up to you. Uh, I choose high right now just to see the quality, uh, but you could choose low if it is too heavy on your computer. And this is really, really GPU dependent. So you might have to choose low if your computer is too weak on that. All right, so I choose high. And if you play just right now, it will go through the video uh, that Unreal Engines took right away to their own sequence. But we probably don't want that. And in my tutorial video, I, I would like to try to uh, work on the face on the life link on the guy so i'm going to uh, use that and before i do that i'm going to teach you guys how to change the viewport from your keyboard so it's like the most fps game you use wsad but before you use that you want to hold your right click buttons on your mouse which allow you to change the angles and then when you press w you go to front s a d uh, left and right and then you could press Q and E and you could go up and down but if it's going too fast you could actually hold your right click button and then scroll down your mouse wheel 
I scroll down three times and this time when I press the W S A D, it actually goes lower. All right. So now you know how to change your view. Uh, you could go closer to your human and then look in the skins. I mean, don't go too close, but you're able to see things closer. All right, so we got that clear for beginners. Now, the next thing we want to do is, what I want to do is I want to change this guy to the front. So I just click on him, go here, and then put him over here, and then go back to the front. I want the light actually on in his, on, on his face around here, so, so it looks good. And then what I want to do is I want to hide the lady, the meta human 001 actor. And I just need to go rendering and choose editor actor hidden in game. After I choose this, well, when I play this, the lady should be the lady should be hidden. But uh, if I just do this right now, it would just go for the sequence and it's super heavy. What I want to do is I want to go to the sequence over here, and I want to change it to the MetaHuman 004. You don't have to change to 004, you could like change to an empty sequence, but uh, this will allow me to uh, choose on the MetaHuman 004, that, which is work uh, right away already. So now looks good. So now when I play it, it shouldn't do anything. Uh, it should just be there. And of course, uh, the control still works. When we go closer. All right, so so everything seems working, and when you press Escape ESC, and sh you should be able to go back. All right, so looks good. And what I want to do next is I want it to link with my Life Link. And how can we do that? Is we're going to go back to the MetaHuman 004 BP blueprint, and then we're going to go to the default. L link face subject. What we want to do is we want to choose our device. But before you choose a device, you want to go to your command line. Um, in my case, and then what you want to do is IP config. And when you do that, you should be able to see your IP address on over here. Mine is fifty one nine five. So now I'm going to do it on my iPad. So I'm going to screen captures on my iPad. All right, so now I get my iPad over here. As you can see, uh, it got my face as a mesh. It actually capturing my facial expression, which is awesome. And you want to go to the settings, and then you want to actually choose. Uh, in my case, I choose my lifelink name, and then you want to choose your target. So I actually put my target over here, 15195, and you just need to do the same, and then just let the port to be default, and it should work. And what you should be able to see is go back to your Unreal Engine. You should be able to see over here. When you click on it, you should be able to see your iPad name or iPhone. Uh, and LifeLink should work above iPhone X and the later version of the iPad and iPhone. So when I click on it, now uh, it should sync with my face. So now let's test it. So now I press play. And I actually want to go closer. So just give me a sec. I will go closer with my mouse. All right. So let's go e a bit. All right. All right. How's this? How's this? Or out? We go a little too close. All right. So you can see my face right now. I look left, right, left, right. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> you could be you could create your own main power with this character anyway so uh this is the way you, you how you do it to uh link to your uh life link and there's a little bit extra that i figure some people might want they had actually move with the character so what you can do here is you go to the default 
uh, and then press face head just click it on to true and then on your iPad you want to go back to settings and then go stream head rotation to make sure that's on when that is on when you press play again now let's see uh, all right so yep so that's how it works and it, it, it works and now if I go closer so you can see better all right so you can you see my head is moving yeah so that's how it works works fine and it could go really weird let's try it yep anyway <laughs> thanks for watching and um in the future my video probably will mention more about uh, how the japan vr and xl uh, industry working right now and share with some news to people like neocad uh, and virtual cars and what's going on in japan and also maybe more about like some latest technology uh, that we use and also uh, it might be related to you some tutorial to help people if they're interested so if you like the video and it helps you a little bit please press like and subscribe have a good one cheers